All right, so how to start a hot dog cart business in Las Vegas. It's one of the highest tourist spots on the planet. And if you're looking to start a hot dog business, I'm gonna go step by step and explain to you how that works, what you'll need to do to get it up and running, and a little bit of advice to make it successful. So welcome to Food Truck Freaks. We are YouTube's premier food truck entrepreneur channel as well, talking all about mobile food businesses and food businesses on wheels. So let's dive specifically into this. Definitely hit the subscribe button if you're brand new to our channel. We have tons of great content and are uploading videos every single week. All right, so starting a hot dog cart business in Las Vegas, like any other city, involves a mix of business planning, compliance with local health and business regulations, and effective marketing. Yes, believe it or not, you need to market your hot dog stand. Here's a step-by-step -step video on how to get started with that. Number one, the first and foremost, one of the things that when I started my food business, I kind of wish I did, but unfortunately I did not, uh, is a business plan. Before diving in, it's wise to draft a business plan, even for a hot dog cart business. Determine your target market Estimate your cost to get up and running and potential earnings once you are in business and identify a unique selling proposition that makes your hot dog cart stand out from anyone else on the street vending arena. Now, this will help you guide your decisions to make your business successful and ensure that you have years and years of constant business. Next up is choose a location. Of course, location is critical. Now, in Las Vegas, though, you'll want to consider high foot traffic areas, which is pretty much everywhere, such as the strip in front of Las Vegas's main hotels, near casinos or close to event venues. However, you wanna be aware that there are many restrictions in Las Vegas or higher costs associated with these premium locations. So you might wanna double check specifically with the uh, local city ordinance that issues those permits for your spot. Acquiring the necessary permits and licenses. Now, of course, number one, you're gonna need a business license. So you'll need a business license from the Clark County and or the city of Las Vegas, depending on your location. Next up is a health permit. Of course, as dealing with any food product, you'll need to get your health permit. Apply for a health permit from the Southern Nevada Health District. That's the SNHD. Your cart and its equipment will be subject, of course, to inspections, just to ensure that you've got everything you need to get up and running. Next up is a vendor's permit. Now, this is going to be dependent on your location. You may need a vendor permit to operate on public property and potentially even private property if you do different events. Next is purchasing your equipment. You want to choose a cart that, of course, meets SNHD requirements. They do have a specific list of requirements. You want to ensure that the cart has necessary equipment like sinks and or for hand washing and utensil cleaning. You may also need a commissary, a licensed commercial kitchen, where you can store the food and clean your cart every day. Many states, actually including um, specifically in Las Vegas, uh, in Nevada, you will need that as well. Even for food trucks, you'll have to have yourself attached to a commissary to ensure that you can clean your truck out and, of course, everything that's mobile each day. Now, sourcing your products. Now, you want to decide if you're going to offer a basic hot dog menu or if you'll have a variety of products. Perhaps with a unique twist or theme, source your hot dogs, buns, and other supplies from reliable vendors. Do a little research. A lot of times people do actually, believe it or not, uh, that I've worked with in consulting, uh, they get most of their products locally from either big box stores like Costco, uh, BJ's, or like a Sam's Club. Those are great places to actually get them because they're considerably cheaper when you buy them in bulk. And much of that you can actually freeze if you don't happen to use it by the time it's expired. You can actually keep them in freezers, most everything that you're going to be using. So it's a great way to do it. Setting your prices. So you want to ensure your prices cover your costs, of course, and provide a reasonable profit margin. Now, there's not really one set thing for this because depending on your expenses, everyone's uh, profit margins could be considerably different, higher. Uh, where you're located, you can charge a premium for the hot dog, so you could make more. If you're in areas that are a little less busier, you might want to charge a little less, so your margins may be less. So it's really going to be up to you to understand your costs in order to uh, understand your pricing. Now, you might also consider offering deals or specials, especially when you're first trying to attract customers at brand new locations. Marketing and branding. So have a catchy name for your business and have it on your food cart. Obviously, that's a no-brainer. Even if you buy a used cart, retrofit it, fix it up, get the right colors, get bright colors, get a huge umbrella. You want to draw attention to your location. You want to consider branding your cart with eye-catching colors and designs. Utilize social media to announce your locations. Yes, even social media, believe it or not, people are in Las Vegas, they will search local social media. And if you're on there and they're hungry, then they may recognize you based on that. And you want to interact with customers, of course, attend local events, fairs, or even farmer's markets actually to gain more exposure. You may not necessarily need to be on the strip in Las Vegas because there's a lot of local events that can definitely use hot dogs. Safety first. Now, guys, you got to always keep this in mind when you're dealing with food. Always follow health guidelines for food storage, preparation, and serving. 
Regularly cleaning your cart and utensils, of course, is a must. That's a no-brainer, but it keeps everybody healthy and keeps your customers coming back. The last thing you want is negative reviews or be shut down due to health concerns. Now, you want to insure your business, of course. Look into obtaining liability insurance. This can protect you in the event of an unforeseen accident or even potential lawsuit from people getting sick or ill. And if the local health department gets multiple uh, complaints on your hot dog cart, they might potentially just shut you down until you get it right. Network. Now, this is an actually a great one. Join local business groups or associations in Las Vegas related to the food industry. They might have or even offer resources, events, or even networking opportunities that can actually benefit your hot dog cart business, believe it or not, because there may be a corporation or a big company corporate event and they want to hire you just to serve hot dogs at an event. That could be thousands and thousands of dollars for one event. Remember, while Las Vegas offers a lot of opportunities due to its high tourist traffic, it also comes with its challenges, just like it does in any other city, such as, of course, intense heat during the summer months. Make sure your cart has provisions like shade or for you and your products to stay cool. If you're going to be out there all day, you want to consider that or even a couple of weekends back to back. So consider starting small always, gauging your business success. Don't overinvest your money into it. Test it out first. And if it works out great, you can always expand. If you put too much money into it at first and it doesn't work out, well, you could lose a lot of money. Just like with any other business, hot dog cart business will fluctuate in sales. You can make a few thousand dollars on a weekend and you may make a couple hundred. It's really up to you and how much effort you put into it. It's your business. And I'll see you on our next video.